How's everybody today? Good. Well, obviously, after watching the last game, you know, it was a very uh, focused performance by our team. They competed well in the game for 60 minutes, and you certainly have to be proud of them for that. Uh, tough atmosphere against a good team. Um, as always, there's things that you know, we could improve on in terms of in fit efficiency and execution. Um, and those are the things we need to focus on, you know, to get corrected. Um, players of the week are listed, but Jonah being the offensive lineman and Q being a defensive player, uh, great to see those guys get honored. Uh, I think moving forward, uh, the battle becomes, you know, very internal in ter terms of putting the last game behind you and looking forward to the challenges and the tests of the future. Um, so you can't really be complacent or satisfied. Um, we got to put that behind us and, you know, get ready for the next team, Mississippi State, who is a very good team. Uh, they're six and three. Um, you know, they have one of the top defensive teams in the country. Really good front, um, really good pass, efficiency defense. Um, Hard to run against, you know, one of the top defensive teams in the country. Uh, Nick Fitzgerald is a veteran quarterback who is uh, not only a, an efficient passer, but um, presents a lot of issues and problems, you know, in the running game with the quarterback runs and has gained almost 900 yards, you know, already this year rushing. Uh, they've got two really good running backs. They've got a good, solid receiving core. Um, you know, this is a really good off, you know, all-around team. You know, I think Jeffrey Swimmons and Montrell Sweat are really, really good players uh, up front uh, that have created a lot of issues and negative plays and sacks against, you know, most of the teams that they've, you know, played against. And this team's really, you know, good in the kicking game as well. So... This is a very, very good team that we're playing. Um, you know, they turned the ball over at LSU, or uh, they probably would have had a chance to win that game. You've talked about this being kind of particularly on offense, a different kind of team than what you all have had in the past. Did you intend to build a team kind of like this, or did it just kind of happen to shake out this way? Well, I think we always try to recruit the best players that we can recruit at every position. Um, sometimes you you lose players, you know, on one side or the other, and um, you're always building, you know, a team with what you have left. Um, you know, if we didn't have three defensive players that were really good players go out for the draft last year, you know, we might have started out with a little different kind of team. The fact that we have the skilled players that we have on offense. Um, so offensively and defensively, I think you take the players that you have and you try to build the best group that you have you can based on what they're capable of doing. So it wasn't like we went out and said, okay, we want to recruit, you know, this kind of guy so that we can have this kind of team. I think we recruit the best players that we can and then you mold the team based on their skill set. Michael. Where have you seen this Alabama offense uh, evolve from week one to season? Well, you know, I, I think that we started out the season playing very well on offense. I think that you know, we were able to run the ball a little bit better, you know, in the last couple games, which I think is the balance that we wanted to try to create. Uh, I think finishing the game like we did, you know, at LSU was, you know, something that we probably wouldn't have been able to do early in the season. Uh, we continue to make a lot of explosive plays, but we made a lot of explosive plays all year, and I think it's going to be important that we can continue to do that. Coach, on the wide receivers, uh, what will Ruggs' situation be this week? And um, a little bit about Jerry Judy also, who sort of stepped up, I thought, Saturday night. Yeah, Jerry played a really good game. Had played a lot of plays in the game um, because of the situation with the other guys. But Smitty was able to play some in the game. Hopefully we'll be able to build on that, and he'll be able to play a little bit more. Uh, we think Ruggs will be fine. Um, probably keep him out of practice today, but expect him to be back practicing tomorrow. Um, so hopefully we can get that group, you know, a little more healthy as we go here. And I think it's going to be important for us, especially in a game like this. Middle with uh, John Zena. We've asked you a lot about the offense, but I'm wondering how 
How has this defense kind of progressed and grown throughout the year? Well, I, I think we've made some improvements. Uh, I think the players, uh, a lot of young players, a lot of guys that didn't have a lot of experience, I think the knowledge and experience that they've gained throughout the year has really helped their confidence uh, and also playing together, communicating better, uh, understanding the importance of you know those types of things and being a, a consistent unit where everybody is sort of doing their job uh, and that's going to give us the best opportunity to be successful and so I think we've grown in some of those areas and we need to continue to improve you know in all parts of our team but um, we're going to see a different kind of attack this week so we're going to have to adjust and adapt to that as well. Just after watching film, how do you think the offensive line as a whole played in this last game? Uh, I thought they did really well. Um, talked about how we controlled the line of scrimmage and you know finished the game. Um, you know, especially in the last drive when we went, went down and scored and ran the ball effectively. Um, so I thought that did a really good job. Um, you know, we had a couple errors in protection. You know, where we let. You know, backers run through, which, you know, affected the quarterback a little bit. But um, like I said, you know, there's always things that we can improve on and correct. On, the left with, uh, Ryan. On, the, on that note, how has the protection improved over the course of the season? And does it take a little bit longer for pass pro to uh, improve versus run blocking? Well, I can't really say that the pass pro has been that bad. I mean, we have like the fewest sacks, I think, of anybody in the league. So. I mean, I don't think it was ever bad. Uh, I think we have improved. Uh, and I think, you know, we get a lot of different looks, but we're going to get challenged this week by some individual players who are going to be a real challenge to be able to get blocked. Um, so it's not just going to be a scheme thing. It's going to be a, a personal challenge to a lot of guys to be able to get some really good players blocked. How was uh, not was Najee Harris's injury status, and what did you see from him in that game before he was knocked out? Uh, you know, I thought Najee played well. Uh, had a couple really good runs, and was very physical and fast, and uh, played well. He does have an ankle sprain. Uh, we're hopeful that by Tuesday or Wednesday he'll be able to come back and do some work. And uh, but right now he's day to day. Hey, coach. Um, with, with Quinn and William Solomon High School, and you see something there and see how we played on Saturday, very impressed. Can you talk about how your staff and support staff really helps in the progression of players once you get them here on campus? Well, I think, you know, Q's a great example of a guy that really has a really good work ethic, um, really wants to be a good player. He's bright. Uh, he's worked really hard to get bigger and stronger. Uh, he's got really good quickness. Um, his athleticism is good, but probably plays with as much intelligence as anybody that we have, you know, on our defensive team in terms of understanding how people are trying to block them and what their pass protection is and burden rabbits and creating every advantage for himself. But uh, I do think that you know it's important always to recruit good players, and we certainly thought Q was a good player when we recruited him. Uh, but every player has to focus on development and improvement, uh, and I think that's where the staff really, you know, comes into being good teachers, but also being good motivators to inspire guys to, you know, really understand the importance of getting better. And I do think that competition in practice uh, is also something. If you talk to a lot of our guys that are in the NFL now, you know, they'll all tell you that. You know, the competition here really helped me become a better player because I was challenged every day. Uh, and I think uh, people who can challenge themselves every day obviously have the best chance to improve in whatever walk of life you're in. Um, and, you know, that's probably the most difficult thing to have that mindset where you're always trying to challenge yourself and improve. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.